Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to install WordPress and create a WordPress website using Namecheap Unmanaged Shared Hosting. So the first step you have to do is check the link in the description and you will arrive on the Namecheap website. Namecheap has multiple type of hostings like managed WordPress hosting, unmanaged hosting and a lot of other tools like SiteMaker, Website Builder and all that. So do not get confused and select the right type of hosting otherwise the steps will be completely different. So uh, on this page first you have to select the data center location which is closest to your audience. Namecheap only offers this three data center locations so you have to pick which is closest to your audience. Then you have to select the billing cycle. You can select monthly, yearly or two years. Now I would not suggest you to select the monthly because you will not get any discount and the price will all be almost double than what you will pay for if you select a yearly option. Now from these th three plans you have to select. The first plan is uh, suitable for very basic websites. I would suggest you to go with the second option because you get auto backups with this which is very important so even in case something goes wrong like your website gets hacked or something then you can restore your website using this auto backup you will also have a backup option from wordpress but it is always good to have auto backup from your hosting company and another tip i would give you is whenever you see unlimited on any hosting company business do not believe that these are truly unlimited yes you can have multiple websites but never unlimited all right so for this tutorial i will select the stellar plan this is suitable for basic websites. I would not suggest you to use this for e-commerce type of website. The performance will not be good. Now you have to select a new domain name. If you do not already put, have a domain name, then search for your domain name. Domain name is basically your website name like youtube.com, namecheap.com. So I will search for a random domain name. Now here you can see this domain name is available but the domain name you are searching for may not be available so you will have to get a little creative and search for different variations of that same domain name. And another thing you will notice here that because we have selected the annual plan, Namecheap is offering us some free domains that are free for first year but I would not suggest you to use these domain names because the extensions of these domain names are not really common. Most people. At least serious business would prefer a .com or if you have a something like a store maybe then you can prefer a .store domain but the renewal charges for those domains are usually expensive at the time of renewal so I would suggest you to pick the .com domain and click on connect to hosting okay and then go to add to cart and from here you can again review the pricing and everything and make sure that this domain privacy option is always turned on otherwise your public and uh, your private information like address contact details will be available in a public database which is more suitable for business who want their public address available but for personal websites i would not suggest you or if you have personal information then keep this option turned on and it is also free so you don't have to pay anything extra for this now if a promo code is available when you are purchasing this hosting you can check the description I will or the pinned comment. If I have a promo code I will post there and uh, then click on confirm order. Okay now you have to create an account if you are a first time customer or if you already have an account then you can sign in from here. Creating account is a very simple process. You have to just fill your personal information like your address, email, contact details, and then um, verify that and then complete the payment. So it's a very easy process. Anyone can do it. I will show you the next steps. Once you have completed the payment, you will see an option from here, go to dashboard. And from here, you can go to domain list. Here you will see your registered domain. I'm going to use this domain for the demo today and you can also go to hosting list here and from here you can see the option of going to the cPanel. So click here this will auto redirect you to the cPanel you will also get cPanel login details in your email from Namecheap 
So if you do not want to use the Namecheap dashboard, you can also directly log into your cPanel. But uh, I would suggest you to do it this way when you are just creating a website. Okay, now from here, scroll down. And here in the software section, you will see this WordPress option. Click here. Then click on install. Now here, select HTTPS. And from here, select your domain. It will be already selected if it is available in your Namecheap account. And just make uh, you can change the details or you can also change these details later. And in admin account section, select a admin username that is different than just admin. And also copy and save this password somewhere safe. We will need this to log into the WordPress dashboard later. And replace this admin email with a working email ID. Now scroll down. Usually I do not like to install uh, all this plugin. So I would untick this and in advanced option, I would uh, disable this auto upgrade and auto upgrade this option because we do not want WordPress to get auto upgrade and possibly um, create problems with our website. Now here in the last option, again, fill a working email ID where you will get all the login details, a copy of all the login details. So make sure it's a working email ID. And just like that, with the auto installer, we have installed WordPress on our website. You can see this is the link for our website and this is the WordPress admin area URL. So I will open this in a new tab. And you can see this is the website we just created. And to log into the WordPress admin area, you always have to do this just after your domain name add WP uh, hyphen admin. Or you can also put slash login. Sometimes this may not work, so but it is always available at WP hyphen admin. And from here we can use the login details we noted before. Click on login. And this is the WordPress admin area. From here, we can manage all our WordPress settings. And this is how easy it is to create a WordPress website with Namecheap shared hosting. Now, it is a very important thing to note that when you create a website, the internet doesn't know that this website existed. So it takes some time before all the devices on the internet know that you have created a website and this website is available at this server. So you, you may have to wait for 20, 30 minutes. Sometimes it, take it may take an hour. It depends on your internet, ISP and all that technical stuff. So I will show you how to verify that your inter website is reachable on internet. You have to copy your domain here and go to my website smarthelpguides.com all these links will be available in the description and pinned comment go to this option check dns record here paste your domain name and click on find you will see that this domain is available across the globe and if i select this option okay it is still searching for that and if i select this option do not worry if some of these uh, DNS servers are showing you this red cross because they those servers may not be up when you are checking but uh, majority of the that's why we have multiple servers to check and this is a server issue not there's nothing wrong with the website okay now we can see that our website is reachable on internet because we can find the IP address and also the NS records okay so if you are seeing that it is not uh, searchable, for example, if I put here some random number and try to find this, you will see that all the DNS servers are not able to find my website. It means that my website is not reachable right now. Okay. So this is a tip. Do not worry if you are not, if the URL of your website is not opening, you just have to wait for a few minutes and I would suggest you try it with a different device after 30 minutes. Like if you are creating a website on laptop, try it from your mobile. Okay. And this was just a name chip tutorial, but I will show you how to quickly get started with WordPress and go to appearance here, go to themes, click on add new theme from here, 
search for Astra. This is a very popular theme and you can see it's already available here. But if it is not showing up, you can search for it, Astra. Then click on install, click on activate, then click on this get started with starter templates. Select this option, classic starter templates. Click block editor. Now all the things I'm showing you is available for free and uh, from here you can see all the free templates available so this allows you to get started quickly you can pick a template that's available for free and some of these templates are also paid you can see the premium tag here all the templates with this tag are paid but you can see there are a lot of free options available all these templates not are not premium and you can also search for your favorite template with the category wise so after that, for example, I will select this template and you can see this is a preview. It looks good and this is for a non-e-commerce type of website. For e-commerce type of website, if you do not like this template, when you are previewing it, you can also go back from here. Okay. So for e-commerce type of website, I would suggest you only to pick a template which is available in the e-commerce section. So it will have additional plugins and stuff that is required for e-commerce too. So I will pick this and click on continue. Then you can unselect this option if you do not want and click on submit and build my website. You don't have to fill all the details. And you can see within just few seconds, uh, we have imported the template. And now if we visit our website, you will see it looks, it will look completely different. You can see earlier, it was a very simple and basic page. Now you can see this is the website we were previewing and we have imported its content. Now we can easily edit this website and uh, replace all the images, text, and uh, create a website just like that. Click on this edit option here, close this. And from here, if you want something, you can just uh, type here and you can delete and replace. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you want a detailed WordPress tutorial, check the link in the description and uh, you can learn more about this. But this is a very easy to use tool, like you can select it. And then from here, right hand side, you will see all the settings available for that. You can also replace anything. And that's it for this video. Please, if you have a question, please post in the comments or if you have any feedback, 